Hi, sweet friends. Welcome back. If we're meeting for the first time, hi, my name's Rebecca. Welcome to my home. This is just a quick pop-up video, guys. And I put in an order with Bath and Body Works, and I just wanted to share some of that with you. And then I stopped at a yard sale and I found a few vintage things that I want to share with you. And some of them may go to the booth. Some of them may go in my Poshmark closet. And some of them I may even keep. So I hope you guys are not picking up the noise of the uh, AC. It's Wednesday. We have not heard from our... AC guy on ordering that motor for our unit. So we've got a small window uh, AC and it is keeping us cool and we're thankful for that. Yes, I did get some new glasses and I did find out some good news that I'm not gonna have that eye surgery for quite a few years. So that's some good news. That I wanna go ahead and share uh, what I got from Bath and Body Works. Now, I just put in an order. I got this, the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Scent, and they had them on sale on the two-pack and on the singles. This is my favorite, the Japanese Cherry Blossom. It's a floral and uplifting, and this is just my all-time go-to favorite. And I just like to, when they run a sale, I'll do a little bit of a stock up. And that work, that's what you see in this box over here. But I didn't realize that I had so many of these wall plugs in the fall. I have one that has the three pumpkins. I have the one that has a single traditional maple leaf. I have one that is the lantern with the two little dangling leaves in the truck with the pumpkin. That one's cute. And this one has the three leaves. I didn't know I had so many in the fall. So I want to get those all put together and put the new cinnamon, sweet cinnamon, pumpkin scent in them uh, f for the fall. We stopped at a yard sale and the guy was just desperate to move some of this stuff. He said that him and his family, his wife and his son had moved from California and they wanted to just, maybe they downsized, I'm not sure. But anyway, they had a few vintage things and he was all about making a deal to get rid of it. So I found a few things, and like I said, some of them will go to my booth. Some of them will go on my Poshmark closet, and you know, there might be a couple that I keep. All right, uh, and not, I don't have them to show, but Larry picked up a couple of frames. He likes to take my old calendars and put those calendar pictures in frames and they just turn out really pretty. And we will probably put those in the booth. The first thing that I wanna share with you, he had a whole stack of linens and I will show each one to you. But uh, I sort of bargained, I think he first, he didn't have a price on them. And he said, so I think he started out with 10 and uh, we settled on seven for the for the stack. And I just think this is just so pretty. It's hand done. It's got all of the little stitches. Just very pretty. I don't see any stains. Uh, this is all done on the linen. The back is just as pretty as the front. But a real spring type of colors with peach flowers. And I thought that'll be really pretty to go in my booth during the spring. This was just some linen napkins. Again, it has 
real tiny, tiny, let me show you up close. Tiny little stitches. And I did see a little stain on one. These are very nice. And somebody just did a beautiful job on those. It was probably maybe a kit to be done. But there was four of those and I will sell all four. These linens will probably go in my booth. I don't know, I haven't tried them on Poshmark. So I'll maybe look into that. This was just a little hand crocheted pot holder. It don't look like it would hold or, you know, repel the heat, but it is very cute in very spring-like pastel colors. And then this was very unique. I think it's had a little fading to it, but you just never know when somebody just sees something and they fall in love with it. And although it may be something that you don't like, somebody else may just, you know, find something uh, that they just fall in love with and cherish for many years. And then this one was very cute again, more of pastel colors, just a little hand crochet dolly. And then this one's very, very pretty. This is more of a tan color, very pretty. That would be very pretty put across a table center of a table piece and some spring things added to it. So I got that whole stack for $7. This next item isn't vintage, but I think somebody may have painted this. And although it says four, I'm sure I gave, uh, he was, we walked in at the point, he said 80% off, 80%. So his son was sitting there with the calculator doing the math. <laughs> Maybe it was a lesson type of uh, yard sale or garage sale. But this has been painted on. I'm gonna show you a close up. See if I can take this off without taking any of the, the paint. When people put tape on stuff, they don't realize that uh, it did take off a little, but it's still pretty. I think this is decoupaged, guys. You see where the tape already took that off? Now, I can't touch up on that, but they should have uh, sprayed it with a clear, but when putting stickers on things, try to put it, even on the back side would be better instead of right there on the front of the but I think this was a decoupage, and here is the bottom to it. How cute is this, guys? Now this isn't vintage, but it's just so pretty. I don't know, I may keep that and put it out on my back uh, potting bench. It's just that pretty. I love it. And I'm sure I didn't pay for. I think everything, when we got done with everything, and I can't remember everything my husband picked up, uh, but I think we paid like $21. The next item is from Germany. And looks like he had originally $8. So, I don't know. I'm sure I only gave like 2 But... This is just a little trinket jewelry holder is what I call it. Very delicate looking. Has Germany stamped on the bottom. It's got a parrot bird. And I don't see any cracks or nicks or anything like that. It's got the uh, gold. Looks like there might be a tad bit of the gold wore off here on each end, but it doesn't really take away from it at all. And this item 
will probably go in Poshmark first. And if it doesn't sell within an adequate amount of time, I'll take it out and put it in my booth. The next item, this was a five piece set. And this was casual living, uh, Nico tableware. And it's got Japan on it. So it is a vintage piece. And this is just the little, let's see. This is the little sugar. It, if it had a spoon, it doesn't now. But this is the sugar bowl with the lid. And none of these items I've cleaned up yet. And they had, he originally had $18 for the set. And then he had a sticker of six. And I don't know if that one was uh, marked down or not, but even for six. Yeah, here's the one where he had $18 a set. Here's the little creamer. No nicks, uh, everything looks good, just needs to be uh, cleaned up. And then it had salt and pepper. I'll show you up close. Here it's Japan on the bottom. And a little green ivy, it's pretty. So, you know, that can go for many different seasons. This is also another Japan item. I don't see any nicks or anything like that. So here it is, it's marked Japan. They have the little stoppers in them, salt and pepper shaker, and the little rooster and the hen. And I'll probably put them in Poshmark first and then if they don't go, I will move them to the booth. Another thing I found, this is not even vintage. This is Creative Co-op Microwave dis Dishwasher Safe. And he had, originally he had $12 on this, but I just love it. I know it's not vintage, but I love the shape. There's no cracks, anything like that. A little creamer, and I just love the shape of it. So I'm gonna add that to my collection. It stays here. Another thing that we found was porcelain knobs. And some of you know that Larry and I have been redoing some furniture. And so we just got these to have on hand. You never know when you're going to need a white porcelain knob. I'll take it out. We had $2 for a bag of two, four, six, seven. This is what they look like. They haven't been cleaned up or anything. But I will. And they could be vintage. They sort of look vintage, but I'm not sure. And then again, we found some more. He had $2 on the bag and some more of the little porcelain knobs. And these are not vintage, they're made in China, but you never know when you might need one when you're doing a project that it just needs a new knob or you want to add something that will be sort of more farmhouse style. The next item is old paintbrush guys, one dollar. Had one dollar on it. It says 100% polyester and I'm going to show you up close all the, the paint through the years probably all the cleaning and chipping up, but just an old uh, paintbrush. And I've seen people decorate with these in some of their 
of vintage vignettes and I definitely said yes to this for one dollar. Okay, last but not least was this vintage jar. It's Planters 75th Anniversary Jar and it's dated 1981. You can probably not see that, but the seal looks really good on it. I bargained on this and I don't have a price that I paid. Like I said, for everything and whatever Larry had, I think we gave him $21 at that yard sale. But you can see it says Planters 75th Anniversary there at the bottom. And Mr. Peanut there. And again, this will probably go on in my Poshmark closet and I will run it there for a while. If not, I'll burn it out, put it in the booth. Oh, I didn't see. Here it is on the top. Uh, 1906 to 1981 is on the lid. Hmm, nice. All right, guys, that was just a quick pop-up video. So uh, I just want to share that with you. And I've got more videos coming. Thursdays are my decorating days. Uh, each Thursday, I have a decorating video for you. And all other videos pertaining to Poshmark and my booth or whatever it is that we're doing, if we're uh, doing some gardening or yard work or... Uh, all of those miscellaneous type videos other than decorating will come out on Monday. If I'm doing a collaboration, I will let you know ahead of time if my video is not going to be out. And I'll probably post it over on my uh, community page and let you know if there's going to be a change. But look for those videos each Monday and Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So guys, until my next video, I will see you then, and I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.